to show you what's new at Sonic Palace for 2015. Alright, so first off, you didn't know. is our new D-Touch system. It is a multi-touch control surface for Pro Tools. It's made by an Italian company called Devil Technologies. I've been working closely with Silvano Bettenzano over D-Touch and he helped me install this remotely from Italy. Look at that. So uh, let me show you what this can do. We'll start with the uh, edit screen in Pro Tools. Here's a beat I wrote called Putting My Wrist In It, featuring Bird Davis from Inglewood here in Chicago. It's from our first Sonic Palace mixtape that will be out soon. Okay, so here I have play. Look at that. I can play. Stop. Fast forward. Hit record. Look at that. Oh, if I want to record, punch you in, punch you out. Look at you go. All right. So uh, what I like is that I can see the entire project here all in front of me. If I want to go to the end real quick, go to the end. If I want to zoom in, just drag and look, I'm zoomed in. If I want to edit that out, I will just take this here and delete that. Now that's gone. Bye-bye. So, And if I didn't like that, I can undo that. All right, now as you can see, I have my edit window here and I have the mixer over here. I, I Kyle struck this mix here for us so we can show you that there's the mixer now I'm gonna hit the little magic button here it's called the mix button and now it's gonna flip the screens now I have the mixer here and the edit window over there so I can still see what's going on over here but I can start mixing so I can actually just start grabbing some faders pull up the beat drum loop a little bit here's a little sub and I have two subs because you need a lot of that stuff. That's good. Ooh, sounds good. Open the hi hat. How about some bells? Oh, yeah. Sol solo that out a little bit. Listen, listen. Nice. Got the horn section here. It's not in that part. It's right here. There's some. There you go. <laughs> Sounding good? So I'm just going to. You know, do a little mix here for you as we watch around here. See if there's nothing in there. there. you go. There's a pad. Let's see what that sounds like. Okay, pull that up a little bit. We got some vocals coming up here. Let's hear this one. The ad lib tracks. All right, so uh, now I'm going to show you. I'm going to add an insert here. So let's see what I want. I want. Let's go with an EQ first. Uh, let's go with the Sheps 73 Waves plugin. Really like it. Sounds great. So I'll roll off a little. Uh, let's go to about there. Roll off a little low end. And let's hear it here. Let me solo this out. Dear me in the back of the V, smoking yeah, a little on weed. Of that. Shorty, a G, let me be. And now I'm going to add a compressor a here. I like the, the universal the audio. The LA 2A. Sounds great. Real easy to freeze. use. Sounds you fabulous. Best, like, we use it on almost every mix we do here. Don't see you whipping it. So let's hear that in the mix now. Put it back in the mix. Dear me in the back of the V, smoking on weed. Shorty, a G, let me beat. I was geek, so I fucked up the seats. I want to be. Well, I used to sling a little bit under a piece. I used to mean. Well, it's getting there. Is he used to lack the pussy for free. And also, too, there's a fine fader option here. If I hit this F here, and then when I move the fader, it moves it fine. I could go way up, and it's just moving a little bit, so. That's pretty good when I'm getting real close to where I want to be. All right, so now we're going to flip back to the edit window here. And I'll show you, uh, this is another thing that's incorporated into the D-Touch system. It's called D-Tools, and it is a macro engine that enables you to get a bunch of presets. And I'll show you, I've been getting my way around a little bit, but I'll show you a couple that I programmed here. So select that, and if I want to fade, let's do a fade. Look at that. Faded. Nice. If I want to split that, split. Look at that. And then I don't want that. Delete it. All right. I want to throw in a little auto-tunes, just 
There you go, look at that, the button. Put in the graphical mode, I can see what I'm doing there. Now Kyle's gonna show you a few editing tricks that he's learned on D-Touch. Hey guys, it's Kyle here. Right now I'm gonna show you editing on the new D-Touch Surface. So right now we just recorded a band this whole weekend named Black Actress, a really good band. And so right now we recorded them live and right now I'm hearing some guitar in the bass track. So I'm just gonna cut it out and I'll show you guys how to do it real easily on this control surface. So let's hear it real quick. As you can tell, you can hear the guitar right there in the background. So I need to cut those parts out of the bass just so you can hear the bass more clearly. So right now I'm selecting this. Really easy. To select all the parts that I want, really simple. So I'm gonna cut all these out real quick. All right, now let's hear it with the drums and bass. Here we go. Sounds great to me. All right, now, so now that we got our new D-Touch controller right here, before that, we used to have a lot of our controls back here. We can't reach them anymore, so what we did was we re-racked everything. Look at that. Oh, man, it took about a week. I'm not even kidding, so. All right, now we have our beautiful new rack here. This was, the rack itself was donated by Alan Wayne. Thank you, Alan. Crowning this beautiful rack, we have the API lunchbox. Um, this is an API 512C. It is a microphone preamp. It sounds freaking awesome on guitars, like insane. And actually, last night we recorded some uh, vocals for like a punk, punky rock band through a, through the U87. It sounded killer. Right here is a kind of a clone of this one. We want to get more. We want to fill more, but they're very expensive, so you know, one at a time. Right here, we use this all the time. This is an LA610 MK2 by Universal Audio, made in California here. It is an all-tube channel strip. So you have your mic pre, you have EQ, high, low, and peak reduction. Underneath that, we have the DBX900 series. These are vintage. These are probably 70s, late 70s, early 80s. Now, this is another great compressor we have. It's a DBX160VU. This is probably, I'm going to say, 73, 75. Had this again, had this recap, sounds killer. It's uh, just insane on kick drum. Um, people are, can't believe what, what it can do with a kick drum because it just puts it right in the pocket and it's, you know, as loud as you can get it but doesn't, doesn't peak. Let's go over to the vocal booth here. So right here we have set up for you our crown jewel of our mic cabinet. It is a Neumann U87 used in such songs as, uh, oh, I don't know, Let It Be, uh, Drake uses them, Lil Wayne uses them. Sounds absolutely freaking killer. And, and this is a great mic. You can use it on almost any source. You can use it on vocals, which is just stellar at. You can use it on guitar, and you can even use it on drums. But as you can see, look at the condition of this mic. It's It's like... Beautiful. There is no drummer getting near this microphone, period. So it would sound great not getting close. Got our little uh, little uh, uh, screen for you to sing along to, you know what I mean? So you know where you're at. All right, now we're going to show you the band room here. All right, here's where you do a little jamming up. So when we have the live band here, here's some guitars, some amps. Here's a beautiful six piece custom kit made by the Trick Drum Company here in Schaumburg, Illinois. It's all aircraft aluminum, so it sounds killer, man. Love it. It's easy to mic. It's easy to record. We have a brand new bass amp here. This was donated to the studio from our friend Steven Weiser. Thank you, Steven. We got a little amp here if you want to rock out. Alright, so here's our other vocal booth. We use this uh, Sometimes we have a band in the back so we can, you know, do two things at once. Here's a, we got a nice uh, blueberry made in California here. It's a awesome vocal mic, sounds killer on acoustic guitar, I love it. And we also use this room for recording guitars. So we'll put the amp in here and then put the guitar head in, in the control room and it sounds, this room sounds killer, man. All right, let's go back into the studio and we'll finish off. 
Alright, well thanks for checking us out today. We're looking forward to a great 2015 here at Sonic Palace. In 2014 we had our best year in our 12 years that we've been open, so we're looking forward to keeping that trend going. We record rock, we record rap, we record singer-songwriter, and you know, occasional voiceover, but mainly we try to focus on albums and mixtapes. So go and check us out at www.sonicpalace.com. We're located in Oak Park on North Avenue, right across the street from Chicago City Limits, and we have our own private parking lot. So thanks a lot for coming. Dynasty.